What's good, YouTube? This your boy Cheat World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to shade. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do after you got your line work all drawn out, you want to make a layer under your line work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the base colors. But we're not going to color the skin yet. We're just going to color the eyes and the mouth and the hair because these are the things that will be sitting on top of the skin layer. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll show you why we're going to color that first and on its own layer. So let me go ahead and get out my pencil tool. Double click it. Make sure your settings on your pencil tool look exactly like mine's because that's what I use to do all my shading and my coloring. So let's hit OK. Sample this color right here with our drop tool. And instead of doing my method of coloring, we're going to just do it the long way. So let's zoom right in with our pencil tool. Make sure your color is sitting on the top and this bottom layer is locked. Now we're just going to color all this in with the pencil tool. I'm going to color this in. Uh, this hair going to be sitting on the top. Let's see. That's all we need. But we ain't gonna make it too perfect. As long as y'all know. Oh man. Get around this ear real quick. You see how I'm tracing it? And it's filling in the inner area. That's why you gotta make sure. Your color is at the top, your bottom color is locked, and you're on you're using your pencil tool. I use this to do it'll save you a lot of time as far as filling in colors without just manually coloring it. Just making a selection for it. I'm gonna come up here. Let me hurry up so we can get to the main part, the shading. So we can just color this rough. As long as y'all as long as y'all know. Yeah. I'm gonna color that in. Mm. Bit. Now let's sample. The white, get our pencil tool out. We're going to color the teeth. We're going to color the eyes. On this side, color this side. And in the future, I will have my own preset, like the color packages for you guys who have a hard time finding the right tones of the skins and the lips. I will have different presets for y'all. So it's coming, man. The dope color package is coming. I'm going to sample this. I'm going to color this right here. We ain't gonna color the skin. We're gonna put the skin on a layer underneath this one. And then we're gonna color. We're gonna color this bottom lip. See this, this pencil tool come in handy, man. Color that bottom lip. Top lip a little darker. So let's come right here, make us a selection around this top lip. 
There we go. Speaking of, yeah, that's good. Cool is good. Let me go back to this hair. Hair layer. I'm just closing this off. All right. Now what we finna do, we finna create a layer underneath that color layer we just made. And we're going to select the base tone of the skin layer. And this is why we put that first color layer on top so everything can just fall behind it. Easy. So we're just putting the base tone down. I'm bringing this down. Okay. Pretty nice little bass tone. Now it's time to start the shading process. So what you want to do, you want to create you a new layer right above the skin layer we just made. And I like to start with my darker tones first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this dark tone right here. Go back to my pencil tool. Make sure my color is on top. Make sure this bottom one is locked. We're going to zoom into this picture. Now, as you see, the dark shadows is right above the eyes. And right under his nose right here. And on his cheek. So those are the shadows we're going to tackle first. And I see a dark, dark shadows right here. So we're going to start with the nose. It's a shadow right here. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my picture. I'm going to place my shadow where I see it, make a selection. Looking at my picture and copying exactly what I see. Okay, that's the first shadow. Now we're going to tackle this shadow. He got a shadow above his eye that touches his eyebrow. So let's come up here. Make this shape, and come back, and come down right there. We got another shadow on this side. We're going to do the same thing. We're just copying what we see. Curves right here. So now let me zoom in so I can get. Okay, come right here. So all you do with your shadows is copy exactly what you see on the picture. Don't try to go too far outside of what you see. You got a shadow right there. Okay, you got shadows under his eyes inside of this little bag. So let's put one right there. See that other eye, the shadow right here. Now, okay, that's a nice little shadow. Okay. Uh -oh. And this shadow layer, the dark shadows, I put it on a layer by itself. So when I go lighter with my shadows, I'm, I create a new layer for it. So we're just putting all our dark shadows on this one layer right here. I'm looking exactly, exactly at my picture and I'm copying what I see. So this shadow right here. It's a little one right there. You just slowly build your picture. He got one on his lips. Come over. 
Then he got one on his cheek. That come up. Okay. We got one right here. And he got a big shadow on his neck. Come up right here. Now he got one on his ears. Come right here. Come back. And then come back. Shadows. Okay, cool. Now we did our dark tones. We're gonna go a little lighter. So let's create us a layer right underneath. Cause every I start with my dark tones first and then I go lighter. But every time I go lighter, I create a new layer and I put it under the layer I just made so it'll fall underneath it. So we're gonna go a little lighter with our shadows. So let's go find us a lighter tone. Let me make sure I got the lighter tone selected. Yeah, that's a little lighter. And we're gonna look for our mid tone shadows on the picture. Okay. See? Right here. We got one. Come this way. We got one that come right here. Come on this side of his face. Let's see. There. Um. Yeah. I'm just copying exactly what I see. And that's how I'm placing my shadows where they need to be. Okay. Help this out a little bit. Make a smoother transition. Oh, come on down here. Bring our shadows over. Okay. Now, we need to go a little lighter. See, your shadows, what it do, it builds the, the shape of what you drawing so i created a new layer and i put it underneath my lighter tones but i'm gonna go even lighter so let's select that lighter tone and zoom in on our picture and look for some lighter tones i see it come right here right here come right here and you just slowly find it and you piece it together on your picture. So it's one right here. And one right 
there. Connect right here. Hold on. Okay, we can go ahead and fill this whole area in right there. Shadow up. Those over here. Looking at my picture. Oh, this little spot right here. Mm -hmm. Man, be a little extra. I'm gonna create me another layer before we put our highlights, and I'm gonna bring it to the top of my dark shadow layer. I want to go even darker in certain areas to give it more detail. So, okay, put a dark shadow under here. I'm still looking at my reference. And that's all it is, you guys. You just slowly build your picture piece by piece. And you just follow your picture. What's well, a dark shadow right here? Just gonna make them eyes stand out a little more. Put one back in this pocket. Okay. This one back here. Come over. Come under. There we go. I gotta put one under here. One under his chin. Just following my picture. And the reason I went back to the top of the layers because I told you I like to start with my dark tones and work my way down. But I created a darker tone that was even darker than the tone I was using. So I had to put it at the top so to make everything else fall into place. But yeah, there we go. All right, we got that in. We can add some highlights. So what you want to do, you want to create our last layer. Put it at the bottom. But above our base layer. We're going to sample our base layer. And we just need to find us a little brighter tone. So we can put the shine on his face. I see you got a shine right here in this crease. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to make us a little shine right there. Then he got a shine above his nose. We're going to put one right there as well. We got a little shine right here. Let's put us a little shine right there. That's all you do, man. You just study the picture you're looking at. Don't overthink it. Place the shadows and the highlights exactly where you see it on the picture. I see you got some, sh some shine right here. 
So let's put us a little shine right there, right here. Um, a little shine right here. And got a little shine above the eyes. Let's put us a shine right there. Make that stand out. The shine in the ear. And let's see what else we can do. Okay, let's go to the top now. We gotta create us a layer right above the top line work. We gotta add some shadows inside the eyes and the lips. So we're gonna do our shadows first. As you look on this picture, you see he got like a grayish shadow right here. So we got a little gray shadow. So we're gonna come to our picture and we're gonna add us a gray shadow. So it's gonna come over like this. Then we're gonna do the other side just like we did that one. We're gonna add us that little gray shadow. Now, add us a shadow down here. And the teeth with that look coming over just like that and we create us a shadow on this lip so you got a shadow coming under right here under the top lip so we're gonna create us a shadow under the top lip as well that's all you do you just look at your picture and slowly build your picture that's not a good tone look let's change that color more a bit that's a cool color right there and we gotta add a little shadow under this bottom lip Okay, that's a shadow underneath, just like so. I'm gonna select it, make it a little darker. I'm seeing. I got a little shine right there. I'm just trying to teach you guys how to find your shadows so you can see how simple it is to draw it on your pictures. So. Let's see what we else we can. Let's go back to our dark shadow layer. Because I want to make this dark tone right here a little more. I want it to stand out. So I'm going to bring it up a little more. A little fade. Oh, so cool I'm right here inside of these creases. And there you have it, you guys, how to shade in Adobe Illustrator. All you have to do is do it, draw exactly what you see, put your, place your shadows exactly where you see them, practice so you can train your eyes so you can be able to find shadows, be able to find your dark shadows from your light shadows and slowly build your picture, stay practicing. Make sure you stay tuned 
more tutorials, more heat coming soon. And Chi World is out there, thing.